it's not about the place photographed, but about what I am photographing. I'm far away from home now. I'm here in this beautiful beach and this thought came to my mind. I'm always looking uh, to capture how the time pass in that particular moment. It's quite the opposite to the decisive moment from Henri Cartier-Bresson. And to tell you the truth, it doesn't really matter if this, the time is passing here or there. Of course, I love to travel to different places, but as my photography evolves, I'm looking for more meaningful experiences, more intimate relationships with the environment where I am. Sometimes I'm using more a telephoto lens instead a wide angle lens. I'm digging deeper into the landscape or seascape. And also, I believe I'm digi digging deeper into my feelings as well. I believe. So lately, I'm with a loop <laughs> trying to refine details on the landscape or seascape. And by doing that, it, it doesn't reveal the place where the photograph was taken. It, it could be anywhere. Ultimately, I have come to the conclusion that the place is not so significant to my photography as I thought it was. My way of photographing is related to how I perceive the world and details around me. And this is different for each person. Don't get me wrong, I I'm not saying I don't need to travel to different places to express my feeling through photography. To visit different places surely helps to increase my visual vocabulary but I can express that whenever I am, even at home. My intention now may be shifted a little bit and is not about going to lots of different places and photographing them all with a wide angle lens, showing those well-known locations, but instead photographing something meaningful to me and something that has a deeper connection to myself and my photography. It's important to have this pause to look back at my work and reflect about where I am and why I am photographing like this now. So what about you? Please tell me here in the comments section what have you been up to lately? What have you been shooting? And if you have any perceptions about this too. Now I will show you some of my latest photographs.
it was time to put away the wide angle lens and to put a telephoto lens. So for the next shots I was using a telephoto lens and also a shutter release cable. So I put the camera on high speed burst mode and while the waves were approaching I would lock the shutter button and it was easier to choose photos later. I was looking at a specific rock where the waves were hitting it because it produced a beautiful dynamic contrast between the movement of the waves and between the white of the foam of the wave and the shadow of the rock. on to another position still using the 70 to 200 mm lens and I was looking at some waves so the waves formation against the sunrise produced a beautiful abstract patterns and I explored that a lot afternoon I went back to the same place and I was looking for some abstract shapes in the sand morning I went back to the same place and I noticed a waning moon setting near the horizon. I took the opportunity to use a telephoto lens and click that moment in a long exposure.
So I went to this rock pier and during the sunrise, but I was struggling to find a good composition, uh, something that really attracted me. Uh, I, I really was uh, struggling this time. Uh, I even tried um, getting closer to the rocks and doing some compositions with the waves coming and the sky. But um, I was still struggling, so I pointed my camera toward the waves. Again, I was using a long exposure and I was panning the camera while shooting, following the wave movement. A little later, after I had breakfast, I returned to the same place and a mist was hovering over the beach, a phenomenon that I had not yet witnessed at this time. So I went back to the rock pier and I think that the mist was the missing element to the composition that I was looking for. The next morning, I put my camera aside and just enjoyed watching the sunrise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you on the next video.